Okay, we're out here looking at, for a few chestnuts today on this chestnut tree. There's several of them up through there, and they're starting to hit the ground, so we need to see if we can't find a few. See, and you got chestnuts right here. See, right there's three that's fell off, and this to the last little bit. So you just bag them up. You know, they're falling. I just take my feet and uh, pop them out of there. Like this right here. Just take your feet, push them burrs back, and you'll have some pretty good chestnuts. Usually, they, in these, on this particular tree, there's. Uh, one to two chestnuts in a burr, but they're big chestnuts. Big old chestnuts. Now here's one that's got three in it. These three in that. I don't know if it's gonna show or not, but these, these three chestnuts in that. And I'm gonna just go ahead and get them out. Yeah, now there's there's a an exception right here. Three, three of them. Now that one bear. Let me drop them in there. Okay, let's go inside and we will uh, see old the old cat. He's got to get a picture too. We'll go inside and we'll see if we can't cook some of these. Okay, we're back in now, and we'll uh, we'll try to show you how to get some chestnuts cooked up here. How I'm going to do it anyway. See if I can't find my knife before ever I'm done with it. The knife. Put the cans in the trash here. I'm not going to cook many of these. But I'll show you what I'm going to do. I'm just going to take one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Just take six of them. And what I'm going to do is take a knife and... Uh, I'm just going to split them right in the middle. Split them chestnuts. There's a flat side and a round side to them chestnuts. When you're splitting them, put that flat side down and it'll be about 90% safer on your fingers. Just split them. And be careful when you split them because ain't nobody needs to tell you to be careful. You already know to be careful. And uh, just split them in two. Just like that. Then take a saucer or whatever, according to how many you cook, and uh, just lay them in the saucer. Just like that. Lay them in the saucer. Then walk over to the sink. Turn a little water on and wet them a little bit. And then turn those uh, chestnuts the cut side down. The cut side down. Like that. Put them all in the, where they're getting a little water on them. Then hold, hold them chestnuts yeah, the way I do it, like that. Put your hand on it, walk back to the sink, and drain the water off, just like that. Then take and uh, put them in the microwave. Set your microwave on one, 
minute and 30 seconds and start it. One minute and 30 seconds. So come on, got 36 more seconds. You'll see when those chestnuts are cooking, you'll see where they're splitting to uh, the uh, chestnut hull will start uh, raising up. It'll start raising up off the chestnuts. Eleven seconds. I'm gonna give it ten more seconds. That'd be a minute and forty. Because they all didn't raise up, which that was done, but the last ones I fixed was just a little bit wasn't hardly done. And believe me, when you take that out of there, them's hot. That's hot. Hot on the fingers. But all you do, look here. Just pick those up. Just pick those shells right up off of that. That's how easy to come out of it. Simple. Simple and hot, let me tell you. It's like napalm. But if you'll pinch them a little bit, if you can, if you can take the heat, <laughs> they are hot. You can let them cool. But now if you let them cool off without taking them out of the shell, they just won't cooperate near as good. They won't come out there as good. Whoops. Just like that. Take your shells. Get rid of them. And then what I like to do, of course, again, it's optional. I like to lightly coat them with a little sea salt. Just a little bit of sea salt. They're good. If you like chestnuts, they're good. Microwave chestnuts, simple. Simple, simple, simple. 